Hello Soul Family. It's been a while and I wanted to share with you some things that have been happening in my life and one is pretty major for me and yes I had the prediction that something big was happening in May that I felt was global. Um, still not quite sure if that's not coming which would leave this weekend or if that's moving sometime in June. It's still very strong, just still confirming that I'm feeling this. Um, just time-wise can always change because there's no time up there and stuff that I'm seeing, but it does feel eminent. So, but what did happen with me was I went to a bio dentist um, here in Denver, Colorado, and they're a holistic dental practice do things that I would never ever experience anywhere else. Um, they are amazing. And um, so to kind of go through the whole story, ended up going in and from the first time I walked in there, I knew that something amazing was gonna happen. There was going, going to be some healing. And the week prior to my appointment, I am doing the myofascial release massages again, and a lot of stuff is being triggered. Um, you know, the, the sex trafficking and, and being subjected to the child pornography, a lot of memories about that coming up, and which is all good. It's all part of my release process and, and getting this stuff out of my body, you know, working on the mind and my spirit, but this physical body still retaining all that trauma. And so she had done a procedure in my mouth that really brought back some pretty heavy, heavy, heavy memories. And so when I went into the dentist, I get in the chair and I just start crying because I already know that from her doing that release that I had so much trauma in my mouth stuck. And I'm sitting there and, you know, he's showing me the pictures and we're talking and he's like, you have had a mid-grade infection for years. He said, I can see it, and which made total sense to me. And he said, you know, this it, we can get it all out. And I was just crying, going, I'm gonna be healed. My mouth is going to be healed. And everything that we think about our mouth, it gets so overlooked. We brush our teeth and we floss it, and otherwise we just take advantage of it. it choose our food and we swallow our, our liquids and, but, and then when it hurts, we go see someone. And so this was so different for me because I just, I knew that the release from this is so different than what I have done in the past on anything of my healing my body. And I mean, I'm, I'm a float spa, um, massages, um, you know, taking care of baths, you know, all the things that I do for myself, this area has been neglected. And so I agreed and I went in yesterday and I had four teeth pulled. I had the cavitation on both the upper and lower where my wisdom teeth were pulled and there was so much putrid, infection in there. I almost gagged on the smell when he opened up this top one. And and then my implant got replaced because of course I'm hypersensitive to metals in my mouth, you know, surprise. And then he ended up putting two other um, implants in where he had pulled, you know, the teeth. And I just have to show you that just this little amount of swelling right here. That's all there is. I have not taken any pain pills today. And yeah, there's some um, discomfort, you know, it's of course when I, you know, me and my smiling, you know, um, so my gum, my mouth is sore because I literally was in the chair for hours and hours. Um, but I just knew, I knew, I mean, my guides were there, his guides were there, um, just, the visions that I was having while I'm all in this chair, getting my mouth worked on, 
it was such an amazing healing process and it's just the beginning um for me because when we store that those memories right of not speaking even our truth i mean here i had that lung disease and then to be carrying this around my poor body has been fighting for my life for years to keep me alive from a, a mid-grade infection and as healthy as i eat and you know taking my supplements i did not give my body what it needed was to get rid of it so i've been in this constant still perpetual fight or flight kind of body and it just it's a, we are so conditioned to have normal dentists just go in and do certain things that are not necessary and i'm not against dentistry obviously yet i'm seeing that there's so much more i mean i should be swollen and in so much pain if, if anywhere else and the tools that he uses and it's all about healing and you know ozone water and injecting vitamin b and vitamin c i mean you just get all these nutrients to help the, the mouth heal and so you know of i i'm really experiencing a lot of and i i remember you know when the first time i remember the in 2012 the the sex trafficking memories that were coming back was you know she said you don't have to remember all of it and i was like thank goodness because i don't want to yet there are i'm not going to obviously there's just too many but the ones apparently that really hit me are the ones that are that are stuck in my mouth and all the things that my mouth did i know that's you know sick but just all the things that my mouth did and how did i not go hey there's probably some trauma in your mouth <laughs> I, you know, it's, it's astounding, but you know, now I'm on the path to being fully in that state. And I just cannot tell you how wonderful I feel. I know that this was one of my last things of getting completed, uh, cleaned out and, and rid of all that old, old traumatic junk energy. And it just happened to be in the form of an infection. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm talking right now, but I'm definitely minimizing my talk, which is hard for me because I always got something to say. And yet I just feel, I really feel amazing. Um, so um, anyways, have a great day, wonderful weekend. And we're going to talk a lot sooner because stuff is coming up. All right. Love you. Bye.